Hi, Sneha. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? Very well. Uh, congratulations. And uh, thank you so much. It seems that you made uh, winning a habit now. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know what to say about that, but. <laughs> but tell me uh, apart from the fact that you've uh, won at least uh, once uh, every season since uh, 2019 uh, what is it about uh, east point that kind of you know uh, work for you does it suit your eye or uh, what uh, about east point yes uh, i uh, i think it is the course is very similar uh, to prestige i mean the vibes are like prestige it is in between the hills it has a lot of trees uh, so prestige also i played well i shot 7 under the days and the grass and the greens are pretty much like my home club hga mm. uh, so the the course was not really new to me as in you know i've never played in these kinds of courses uh so yeah i think that was the thing and uh, since i finished third in boulder hills so i had that thing that you no know, you can you can just just keep playing your normal game just keep executing what you've learned and it'll just work for you uh, work, work for you at this time passes so, so but have you played this course before uh, in, a, no. in a in a in a tournament no okay okay yeah so a uh, couple of uh, records uh, came your way uh, yesterday uh, the yeah. best uh, Uh, nine holes in the history of WGI, but yes. uh, let's talk about uh, starting the day two behind, and then falling five behind, and going on to win by three shots, and especially that uh, albatross. Take me through that round. <laughs> okay, so that thing uh, I started with a lot of mess, uh, as you could see the scores. Uh, I three butted the first hole. Then I missed the uh, uh, bunker chip putt on the second hole. I got two back-to-back bogeys. But the the thing which remained constant on me uh, in in me was that keep believing in yourself, keep believing in your game. Uh, I mean, as holes passed on, I birdied the fourth, and then again dropped the shot in the fifth. When I birdied the seventh, it was a uh, pretty what say fifteen twenty feet putt. Uh, so I got that good feel to make putts. To hole in putts from out three, four, five yards, uh, and after after the ninth hole, I was only three shots behind. So I was like, uh, "You just need a couple of birdies to catch up." So and tenth, I got a birdie. Uh, so that and the the leader got a got a bogey there. So that covered up two strokes out of three. So only one left, uh, and I birdied the thirteenth, which was an again uh, long, fifteen twenty feet putt. so i have that hole before getting my albatross and then i got that so i took a two shot lead and 15th again i birdied uh, i got a three shot lead 16th uh, the leader birdied uh, i got a two shot lead again 17th i again birdied so i got a three shot lead again 18th both of us parred so that was the round but uh, but i think the way it started uh, it was a pretty uh, Sad, sad stuff to do because when you're in the leader group, when you're all playing and you're only two shots behind, and suddenly in the first three holes you are like five strokes down. That, that was. I think I, I learned. I learned uh, how to believe in myself, how to get that confidence, even if you're. Doesn't matter how many strokes you're behind. You just keep giving your best. You just keep doing uh, what you've learned. So that is what helped me. Uh, I'd like to thank my dad for that. Uh, you know so. but sneha i mean when you start the way uh, or rather you start in the position that you were uh, on the final day uh, falling five behind nine out of 10 times you're going to just fade away because there is that uh, thing of you know just giving up uh, was it just belief or was it you know the conversations over the years that you had with your father who's also your coach that kind of you know came flooding back and that uh, helped you no actually to be honest when i was five behind uh, i was like it is a little too tough to just get back because 
she is a great player uh, so uh, but then after nine when i saw only three shots behind and mm. i've done it a couple of times so i just believe in myself i just did what my dad taught me and the confidence in me maybe you can say that so that mm. helped me and the experience i've gained over the years yeah so this is that yeah but have you ever uh, uh, kind of uh, in a even in an amateur tournament have you ever come back from five behind to uh, win yes um, i i think i did but in south zone uh, when i used to play when i was in d i came back from 11 behind 11 behind yes. <laughs> okay okay but Come, coming to the albatross from 120 yards what was going through your mind were you actually uh, what was the intent the intent to be honest was just the same as the normal as the as the other shots i hit just hit it as closer as you can uh, i think i just dropped it in a good position it was on line it, it went in and even on the first day with my 56 wedge my ball hit the flag i mean this pitch it hit the flag and then because of the thing it just moved it was just to this given birdie so it happened to me twice on the first day i had like two given birdies uh, so i think the third day uh, it it just went in it must be like i am giving you weight so just let's go in <laughs> janvi is messaging so proud of you i can't she she's a real star she's a great player a great human being a, a great company to play with janvi i just love playing with you yeah okay but tell me this if you kind of were to compare your earlier uh, three wins with this one obviously this would be very special uh, given all that you know happened on the final day uh, would you rank it number 1 oh uh, yes out of the four wins yes i want to do it yeah no because number 1 is always special so yes it is ha to uh, but this would kind of replace the earlier number 1 now yes it did <laughs> okay but you normally you normally practice uh, at hga uh, mm. or you also go to I boulders just, i go i go to boulders also and hga both of them but do you have do you have training partners or you are pretty much by your uh, on your own i love practicing by my own i have my brother on my side he makes me practice he cleans my clubs and all that so lekin wo to chhota hai na aapse chhota hai it's fun to be around him and i i personally like practicing alone that keeps you uh, focused you know when you have people around you tend to talk even if you don't want to talk you are like chalo 2 minute ka break and this so that doesn't work for me i like, i love practicing alone so after the win uh, did you have any uh, was your mother uh, is your mother traveling with you yes she is yes but did she did she kind of uh, capture the albatross on phone no no she didn't but then uh, there were a few members who were walking around so they did it Okay, so I'm sure you must uh, ask them for a copy. Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, so talk about talk a little about you know the equation. Uh, your father being your coach also. I mean, over the years, growing up uh, under him, learning the nuances, and now I'm sure he would be. I'm very proud of what you've kind of uh, pulled off at a very young age. Talk about the you know the journey. The journey it's it's just awesome to talk about. I mean, started when I was three and a half. Calcutta dad being a professional golfer, uh, you know. But when we moved to Hyderabad, that was the turning point of me when I started playing tournaments. I started mm-hmm. going to South Zone. I think mom dad saw that interest in me. Uh, so just they just kept they just kept me going i mean they never stopped me no matter how i played no matter how i performed they just they just tell me to go play just go execute what you've learned uh they, they've been very supporting and i don't think i would be anything without my mom dad and also my brother uh, i mean i think i think i'm i'm here and i'm doing
think we lost her. I'm so sorry for that network issue. You don't have to be sorry. It could be me in the uh, the next time. So <laughs> that's the, that's the risk of doing stuff online. Never mind. Aji, uh, continue. I'm sorry, my my dumb don't think. I mean, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and I am just because of my parents and my family why I'm here. That's it. <clears throat> But Sneha, I mean, you've. you've competed on the wgi for fairly long now and you've also uh, proved that you can you know compete uh, an excel so you've never kind of uh, no thought has gone into turning professional uh, yes it is going on right now also i think by this year end i will be turning so as per my plans i think i should do that but any any uh, targets that you want to meet uh, before uh, you turn turn pro any uh, anything that you have in mind not specific uh, i think i'm just waiting for the asian games uh, hmm. once they confirm that they are not taking amateurs then i think i will be turning pro how was the asia pacific uh, amateur um, a kaisa experience raha aapka uh acha tha the experience was really good but uh, i shot one over on day one and three over on day two i missed the cut by two shots uh i mean i didn't i didn't have any bodies on the second day i kept missing small parts but that's all learning uh, the experience was really good uh i'd like to thank igu for that and also the wap wap team members uh you know playing with uh, the pro players outside you 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 get an idea of how you're going to get that competition when you go out so that was a really great mm. experience to be here to witness but this week it's uh, bpgc yes. so uh, in terms of memories uh, over the years how has it been how has the course treated you bpgc yes uh see i won a very special tournament of mine there i won the all india there so that that course is very special to my heart and uh, so i i, I mean i just, i'll just go there and just re- i hope i recreate those memories once again of doing well and performing well uh, sorry come again uh sorry no no you were saying you were saying something Yeah, uh, yeah. I said, I just, I just hope I do my best there. Recreate uh, the magic. Memories, recreate memories of things. And anything else about the, anything else about the course that kind of you know you uh, like? I think it's a really good course. It's quite narrow. A lot of trees. So it's a few holes are pretty long as well. so you just learn that course management there you know to see where you're going to place your drives and all that so because it's pretty narrow and a lot of trees uh, so yes see compared to uh, last week his point uh, which you said you were playing for the first time yes. and uh, this week bpgc of course you are familiar with 
how, how easy or tough is it to kind of adjust a course where you are kind of where you know how to kind of uh, place yourself vis-a-vis something which is kind of a virgin uh, experience Yes, I think EPGC when I played the practice and obviously I've never been there, I've never played there. So there's a, always a thought, ki kaisa hoga, how will be the fairways, mm. the laps. Mm. So you always have that thought, but EPGC I'm very familiar with it. I played every year. Uh, so I just know how the fairways are going to be. It's just going to be my game which is uh, going to be, uh, you know, mattering there, not the course. Because I'm very familiar to it. I can't say that I didn't know that this was going to be. So right. that is the... So are you staying uh, close to the course or you have to travel quite a bit? Uh, no, right now I'm in Hyderabad. Uh, I've come okay. back for a Okay. Uh, so, wishing you another strong week and uh, thank you. many more uh, wins and uh, play well and all the best. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.